Welcome everyone to another update video for the 999 challenge. This is the challenge where we're attempting to get 999 of every stackable item in the game. That's everything from fiddlehead ferns to something we're not quite done with, such as chicken statues. Although we have been making quite a bit of progress. So what we're going to be doing in this video is attempting to go through and check everything we've done over the past three in-game years. We're currently on year 31. So our goal here is you'll look in the uh, top of top left of the screen. This is Stardew Camera. So as we're opening up chests and things like that, you'll be able to see what we're looking at. Uh, below is me with our good friend Sneakers. And then on the right is the spreadsheet we're going to be updating. So to start with here, uh, we can look at our current totals. So this is everything we had three years ago. We're going to be updating this soon. You can see we're 86% done. The 999 challenge, according to this. <laughs> uh, there's a few different ways to measure how complete we are. But this is the current one that we're going to be updating here. Okay. So you can see some of the categories that we're actually done with. So fruits, flowers, and minerals. Unfortunately, we did not finish any more categories, as far as I'm aware, this time. We're very close with cooking. We're extremely close. Um, but the other ones just have some sticklers that we'll talk about when we get to them. Uh, so without any further ado, let's actually go ahead and start updating our sheet. If you are interested in looking at the spreadsheet or any of the other materials like my FAQ, they should be linked down below in the description. Yeah. So our fruits are all done, so we don't need to update anything here. Our veggies, the only thing we need to update here is our fiddlehead ferns. So, whoops. So, we just looked at those a second ago, but let's go ahead and look again. Uh, organize here. So, we've got 999 plus 125 plus 30. Uh, so, that's going to be a 1,154. So, let's update that here. You might notice that this actually went down. And you might be wondering why that happened. Like we have less fiddlehead ferns than we had before. The reason being is that this takes into account all the things that we need to make out of fiddleheads. And what we did this year was we turned 999 of our fiddleheads into fiddlehead risotto. So when we go to cooking later on, which is uh, a little bit across the bottom here, uh, when we end up going to cooking later, we can come back here and look at this. So at the end of the stream, we're gonna go back through and look at everything that's changed and how close we are to fit being finished. Okay, having said that, let's move on over to forage. The first forage we need to check is our hollies. And I've got good news about the holly. We have one whole stack of holly. You might notice we actually have more than that, um, but everything past the stack that we have is kind of irrelevant. So I usually just fill in that we've got 999 here. And since we don't have anything else that relies on it, it's perfectly fine to do that. And now our hollies are complete. I'm actually gonna go ahead and make a list of everything that we finish here. So I don't forget <laughs> to mark it on our checklist later. All right, mushroom magma cap, mushroom morel, mushroom purple. Okay, so let's go ahead to our mushrooms, which are right here. Okay, so our purple mushrooms, we now have a full stack of. So we can go ahead and update that to 999, which makes another thing that we're completely finished with. Okay. Let's take a look at our magma caps. I'm only gonna count the Iridium magma caps because one of my rules is that everything has to be in a single stack. And while these technically are also magma caps, I only care about the single stack and the single stack I'm going to get for magma caps will be Iridium quality. We're just going to write in the 324 here. There's no other way to really boost quality, unfortunately. Other than getting it as it starts. Uh, next up here, we want to look at the morels. The morels are kind of interesting because technically I need them for something else. So I could kind of count these, but I'm actually done with the roots platter. So I don't need the morels anymore. Um, so 477 is my biggest stack. I eventually want them all in Iridium because it looks nice to have an Iridium star there, but I don't actually need them all in Iridium. So I'm going to just be counting my largest stack, which is 477. Okay, now Nautilus shells, rainbow shells, and sea urchins. 
I actually forgot we were we weren't finished with sea urchins because I finished it so long ago. So sea urchins, we have our entire stack here. Let's go ahead and mark that down. Nine nine nine. And that's another completed stack. We've done quite a lot of work over the past three years. This is gonna be probably my biggest update yet. Okay. On to our Nautilus shells. We're at 615 and 364 rainbow shells. So Nautilus shells are at, dang it, I just looked at it, 615. I should remember things, huh? Rainbow shells are at 364. We actually did a lot of work on these. Uh, they're just really slow going. We have to get them from uh, the harder mines, the ocean floors, because they do not spawn enough on the beach. Okay. Flowers, we're already finished with. We've been finished with flowers for a long time. I believe it was the first stack I finished, even before minerals. All right, fish. Let's go ahead and take a look at fish. So uh, this extra category at the top is something I added recently. Uh, because it's based on the extra fish that can come from any category. So once I fill that out, technically I could add the raw amount I have, which is I have a bunch of extra fish I'm not using for anything. But I'm just going to wait till I finish Maki Rolls before I fill that in. Let's go ahead and start with Bullhead. So Bullhead's kind of interesting. Uh, are there any in here? No. So they're all over on this side. Because we currently have Bullhead in the pond. So I've got 12 times 9 bullhead in these ponds, and I do count those because I can take them out at any time. So 12 times 9 bullheads. I should, one second, allow me to get my calculator. Like a proper spreadsheet nerd, I'm going to need that. Luckily, I charged it. <laughs> All right, so let me get everything back on here. So we've got 12 times 9 bullheads, plus the amount of bullheads we have in storage here, which is 341. Gives us 449 bullheads total, which is definitely more than we had before. Okay. Uh, catfish. I don't think catfish changed much. Let me go ahead and check on that really quickly. So unprepared. Yeah, a little bit adorable sapling. Uh, catfish will be in here. So yeah, that doesn't look like it's changed much. So unlike a lot of other things, the quality of fish can actually be changed. If you put the fish into a pond, a fish pond, it automatically goes to quality null. Like, so no stars at all. So I can count all of these fish together because I can turn them into the same quality. So 212 is the total for the number of catfish. So we did gain a few, right? Chubs, I know we got some chubs. You can't avoid catching these. So we've got 586 chubs. Okay, you'll notice I'm skipping the ones that are already completed because I don't need to add anything to them, right? Uh, Dorado. We have 217, which is an increase, probably from an accident. Eel, we have 999 eel. We actually managed to finish eel. So it doesn't look done, but I still have to add the rest of the things for eel. Uh, so I will have to come back through later and mark the ones that did finish, but I know for a fact I finished eel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write that down. Okay. Flounder is one of the ones we're currently working with. Let me head on over there to check it. Probably should get my speed buffs going, huh? So this doesn't take all day. It is possible I might have to reset the day today to continue this. I'll run out of time. Alright, so the flounders are at 8. There's 12. 12 times 8 is 96. And if we add our current flounders, which is 767, we end up with 863, which is a lot more than we had. 
Now you'll notice, despite these being very close in number here, the 999 and the 863, or rather for any of these, um, flounder isn't going up as much. That's because flounder is turned into a cooking dish. So that is actually the last cooking dish I'm going to finish, which is the seafoam pudding. It requires two separate fish. Uh, ghost fish. So 185 plus 3 plus 44. 232. Glacier Fish Jr. So I did not change the amount of Glacier Fish Juniors I have. Uh, these are the pseudo legendaries that you can catch from the Q quest. Um, you can actually catch them pretty fast, as we'll see when we get to Miss Angler. Um, but I've only been focusing on one of them at a time. Halibut. We have a lot of halibut. So 233 plus 4 plus 285 plus 4 gives us 526. Okay. Herring. We've got 260 plus 2 plus 3 plus 22 gives us 287. We did not gain many herrings. Ice Pip. Ice Pip has actually gone up quite significantly. So we've been growing it in the pond down here. Or when we have to full fill it up. But we're at 21 plus 6. Which is 27. Okay. Uh, largemouth Bass is actually done. And I'm going to mark that down here. But it doesn't look done yet. Because we have to um, we're gonna have to mark the rest of our meals I mean the uh, rest of the crispy bass being done which we haven't done yet okay legend 2 I don't believe legend 2 has changed but let me just double check really quick yeah we're still at 16 Lincod 175. We definitely have more than that now. 167 plus 88 plus 13. So 268. Okay, lionfish might not have changed much. Uh, 11, 12, yep. Unchanged, lobster is done. Midnight carp, one of the ones we're currently working on. I don't think there's any in here. Let's go ahead and check on our Midnight Carp. There's seven at the pond and there's 12 ponds. So seven times 12 plus 452 gives us 300, 536 rather. Okay, Midnight Squid is another one we have in the pond. There's four in the pond, but there's only six ponds for the Midnight Squid. I split up the squid and midnight squid into two separate in the same area. Uh, so 6 times 4, 24, 24 plus, oh wow, we're very close to being done with it. Well, that's right, I wanted to see if I finished it, but it doesn't look like I did. It's very close, oh my gosh. So 958 for the midnight squid. We're so close to being done with that. Uh, fun enough, the squid is exa exactly at the same number. I'm just going to head down there really quickly here. And type that one in as well, so I don't forget about it later. We're on the Midnight Squid. Alright, Miss Angler. So my chat is very fond of Miss Angler. We've been fishing her up for quite a while now. We're at 530, so this is an example where I cannot add the 70 because I can only have it in one quality and there's no way to put Miss Angler in the ponds. 530 Miss Anglers, we pretty much doubled what we had before. Muscles are done, octopus. 144 octopus. Okay, oysters are done, perch 159. Have more than that now, I think. 
120 plus 21 plus 4 plus 15 gives us 160 now uh, we only got one <laughs> so a lot of these fish we're not really working with at the moment um, so these periwinkles are gonna look like I'm going to be lowering them but in reality this will finish uh, it's kind of weird because periwinkles were technically already done <laughs> but they're done again uh, we found something that required periwinkle but I guess I'll write them on completed, even though they were already completed at some point. I've never completed them on stream, I guess. All right. Pike. 105 plus 34 is 139. Pufferfish. We have... 159, 169, 173, 573, sorry, it's a very different number. I don't think we got any more radioactive carp, we did not. Rainbow trouts, we got a lot more rainbow trout, I don't recall catching them, but must have happened at some point. Okay, we have 54 rainbow trout. Our red mullet. Two, 210 red mullets. Red snapper. 23 plus seven plus four, 74. Salmon. Uh, we are completed with salmon. Hopefully. Yep. So we have a full stack of salmon. Salmon is used in a dish, but that dish is also complete, which we'll add later. So let me go ahead and mark salmon as done as well. Oh, did I mess up my pufferfish? Ah, pufferfish is 473. Thank you. Brady trying to get a cameo in the video. Very kind of him. All right, sandfish. We have 99 sandfish. Sardines. Sardines are actually not done, which is kind of crazy, but they are very close to being done. So we have 890 in here, and oh, we've got uh, 8 times 12 in the pond as well. Okay, which puts us at 986. It's crazy how close some of these are. <laughs> Literally tomorrow, or like in a few days in game, I will actually be done with about 3 more fish. It's amazing how close they are. I messed up Midnight Squid as well. well. I'm glad I have a chat that cares about me. 958? 6 times 4. 24 plus 934. That's 958. There's 8 extra in the fish chest. Oh, don't worry about those. Those are irrelevant. <laughs> Y'all are so good at spotting things. Where did these even come from? Okay, whatever. Alright, plus eight. <laughs> I thought they were the same. Uh, Alright, so that's 966. Thank you for noticing that. <laughs> uh, slime Jack is done. Oh, that's not where I left off, though. We were on Scorpion Carp. 28 scorpion carp. Sea cucumber. What's that? There's 999 sea cucumbers because we finished them. Very good. Okay. Shit. 
Chad. 179 plus 78. Plus two. <laughs> 259. Smallmouth Bass is one chest over. We're sitting at not that many, huh? 24. Hey, we got one. Son, son of Crimson Crims, yeah, Son of Crimson Fish has not changed. Uh Spookfish probably has not changed, actually. Yeah, that's the same amount. Oh. Y'all, I think squid are done. <laughs> Actually, very close. <laughs> no, that's enough, though. All right, squid's finished. Stack. My bad. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want a, che a chest with 36,000 fish in. <laughs> yeah, that would be a, a smelly chest after quite a little bit of time there. All right, Stingray, I don't think we've changed. Yeah, we still got seven. Stonefish, we still have 50. Sturgeon, we have 268. Well, that changed. Okay. Uh, Super Cucumber, we can actually lower this to 999. It was already done, though, so I'm not going to add any more there. Tiger Trout. That's a Sunfish. Uh, Tiger Trout, we have... 40 plus this, which is 223. Tilapia. Um, 200 and... 200 and... Hold on. 13. Here we go. We'll start with fish. Tuna. Tuna is... 110, 100, 121. Void Salmon, unchanged, probably. Yep. Walleye, that probably changed. 72 plus 80, 93. Barely. <laughs> Alright, wood skip. 137. It went up. What does the L mean in the yes column? Oh. Limited. The L stands for limited. Yep. Thank you, Elena. So yeah, that means I can purchase them, but it's in a limited quantity. So these are all the fish that are purchasable from Probus. Right. Row will be much more straightforward. So let's head over to where we keep the row, which is in here. So for some of these, it's pretty easy. Is there, or we already have a stack of them. Some of them we're going to have to um, kind of look at closely. So let me see what we're missing here. We didn't finish bullhead. Oh, eel will be done. Double check that. Yep, eel is done. Okay. So, the reason why it doesn't look done is we also needed to age it, but it's already aged as well, as we'll see on the Artisan Good page. Uh, herring, ice pip, no, no. We actually do have some ice pip row, don't we? Go ahead and take a look at that. This is a mess now because of all the trash we're getting from the mussel fish ponds. Bullhead. Oh, we have to add the bullhead, obviously. So that's 543 bullhead row. Uh, we don't need that one because we've already done it. Flounder row. We have 1,015 Flounder Row. You might notice that there's only the 16 here, but we have a stack of 999 up here. 
which I'll show you just to prove to you. But or wait, this is going to go into these preserved jars when there's room. Ice Pip Row, we've got 20. We've only got one Ice Pip Fish Pond right now. It's just to grow them, so we're ready when we put them in. Alright, what's next? Midnight Carp Row. So, Midnight Carp Row, we've got... Actually, a kind of a weird amount of Midnight Carp Row. Here we go. Whoops, come on. We've got the 40 in here. 40 plus this 127. Which gives us 167. But we've got a lot more than that. Because um, about almost a stack of it has been turned into aged row. Which we'll reflect on our next page there. Uh, muscle row. We do have some muscle row. It takes a long time to get muscle row. But we have 120 of it so far. Which is actually a really good start. We do need two stacks of it. Uh, Octopus Row has not changed. Um, Sardine Row should be done. So we have 999 of this, but we also have 999 of the aged row. So this is a case where... We don't have the fish done, but we actually have the row and the aged row already done because the fish grows so slowly. There's mushroom fluoro, yeah. All of the um, crab pot fish have row, but it's really annoying to get because they give so many other things that the row only has like a very small chance of appearing. Well, compared to the other ones, certainly not like tiny or anything. But All right, sea cucumber row. Oh, this is extra. We actually have a whole stack of Seacumber Row in here. Yeah, and the Sardine Row as well. So let me mark that down. Okay, so Seacumber Row is also done. Uh, anything else that we missed in here? Uh, the only one I think I might have skipped over, well, largemouth and salmon might have gotten skipped over, so let's look at those really quickly here. Yeah, salmon row should be a stack. And largemouth bass row. Oh, we already got that one done. Perfect. Okay, look at our last little bit here. Uh, sunfish we don't need to worry about, so everything else will be in here. If there is any. So there's sturgeon and wood skip. I think those both might be new. No, sturgeon's not. Wood skip's not either. Okay, so we're all done with row then. This is kind of a weird category to update because it updates very slowly. All right, artisan goods is well, it's almost completely done. <laughs> uh, the only thing we need are the aged rows. Everything else looks pretty spiffy, doesn't it? There's a few things we do need to change, though. And it looks like we just, like, emptied this, but you'll see later. Those will go back up. Guess we have to put those back on, don't we? Hmm. I, I left them checked, I'm pretty sure, but I'll write them on here just in case. There was a weird thing we discovered which required us to get more of all of those items. Uh, but let's go ahead and start with the aged row up here. So, of the we didn't age too many rows. I think there's like four or so that we need to add. Okay, so starting with, I believe eel row will be the first one. Chub, cockle, crab, crayfish, no, no, eel, yep. We have a full stack of eel row. So let me go ahead and add aged row here. Okay. 
Um, we do not have a full stack of Flounder Row. We're actually not even started with Flounder Row. Age Row yet, at least. Linkod, no. Lion, no. Midnight Carp, yes. Actually, that's the Midnight Squid, isn't it? Oh, there is no Midnight Squid Row. That's why I was confused. Squids don't give row. So the Midnight Carp. We have 823, but that's not all. We've got one... And all of these as well. We have to count them in either as row or aged row. And since they're already being turned into aged row, I'm going to count them as aged row. Um, I don't remember how many items are in here. It's 137, I think. But I'm just going to check the wiki really quickly. Do we able to see here? Big shed. 137. There we go. I knew the wiki had it in it. So 138 plus what we had in here. So 138 plus 823. This is 961. I guess I could have just subtracted away. Never mind. It doesn't matter. <laughs> 961. All right. Next up and the aged row front. Salmon, sardine, sea cucumber. They're all pretty close to each other. They're all done. Salmon. Sardine. And sea cucumber. Okay, and those are all written down. And we are not actually quite done quite yet because there are three more items that we're still waiting on. Thank you, Samantha. Three items that we still need to get, and they are the juice, pickles, and jelly. Um, so these items can only be gotten from the traveling cart. Surprisingly, the juice is the only one you can eat. So odd. All right, so let's start with pickles at 29. We gained a little bit at least. They go up very slowly. Okay. Jelly is at 53. Okay. And juice is at 24. We got two. So that's over the course of three years. So you can imagine how long that's going to take. Okay. And that's it for updating artisan goods. Let's head on over to cooking. Cooking had a massive update. Neric juice flavor. Yep. I wonder what juice tastes like. Um, I'm imagining like plastic wrap. Yeah, probably. All right. The nice thing about a category like this is I can just skip over so much of it and just look at what we need. Crispy bass. So if we hover over here. Where is that crispy bass? 999 crispy bass, 999 dish of the sea, 999 fiddlehead risotto. Let's just do those first. 999 crispy bass, 999 not that many nines, dish of the sea, 999 fiddlehead risotto. So I went out of my way to do the fish first that we needed for cooking because I wanted to finish cooking because it makes me feel good. <laughs> and I decided also to finish the fiddleheads as well. Okay. All right. So fried eel, lucky lunch, and maki roll. All going to be over here. So, oh, fried eel was in the previous chest. We skipped over on accident. Fried eel is 999. Lucky lunch is 999. Maki roll is 822. We were not able to finish maki roll in time. But we've got fried eel. Lucky lunch. And 822 for the maki roll. Looking pretty good in here, though, isn't it? 
We're very close to being done with cooking. Congratulations, mermaid. Awesome. All right, let's look at all our last ones here. So we're, we don't actually change strange bun, but you'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, salmon dinner, seafoam pudding, and squid ink ravioli. So salmon dinner is 999, seafoam pudding is 24, and squid ink ravioli, whoops, this one, is 999. So that gives us a completed salmon dinner and squid ink ravioli. Okay, strange bun is also finished. Even though we basically had to unsubmit it because of the thing we found out about. All right, and now we're on to mob drops. Yeah, we're, we'll no longer be 69% complete, as it turns out. Sadly, but also, it's good to keep moving, right? Right? Right. So, interestingly enough, we're going to turn Batwings to 999. Uh, but it is completed. We managed to finish Batwings, which was a big one for us, because we've been working on it forever. So, Batwings are also used to make a few other things, and we have finished all these other things. So, once we fill all those in, that will go back to 100%, or that will go to 100% rather. All right, Dragon's Teeth, 138. We actually got quite a few of those. All right, Duck Eggs are done. <laughs> I can't believe we had to unsubmit all these things. All right, Galaxy Souls, we had 215, we now have 385, we got quite a lot. Let's watch this percentage drop, jump 15% or so. It did take three years, though, for that to happen. All right, slime. We have 1,031 slime. Okay. Slime eggs. Blue is 312. Green is 344. We don't get many of those much anymore. Purple is 304. Look, it's finally catching up. And red is 70. We got a few red slime eggs because we did a um, a dive into Skull Caverns looking for auto petters. Tiger slime eggs are 159. Okay, solar essence. We're actually gonna mark this as 999, but it is finished. So solar essence is another big thing that we marked off our list. Why do you need a fifth of a bug meat? Well, this is a good time to explain for everyone who might be wondering about that. Uh, there are certain recipes in the game that require like five bug meat, say for instance, and then they only give you one of the item. So as a result of that, it can end up, since these are based on that. So where's bug meat? We can look at it really quickly here. Bug meat. You can see like it's one fifth times this because we need five for each one of these things. So the raw numbers are always going to be integers, but these can get thrown off by recipes. And squid ink. Squid ink, we're going to leave at 999, but we are finished with it. Actually, I'm confused. What else does squid ink make? What? <laughs> Wait, ink is in two recipes? That's not right, is it? Hold on, quick quick aside here. Oh, squid ink is also in seafoam pudding? I actually didn't know that. <laughs> All right, do I have enough ink? I actually don't have enough ink yet. <laughs> That's actually very funny. All right, so we're not done with squid ink. Did everyone else know that too? <laughs> yeah, you're fine, Aster. You know what I meant, though. Yeah, you need one to make five. 
Thank you. You're correct. Okay, well... In that case... Let's actually put the number we have in here. Which is 999 plus 945 gives us 1944. Wow, we were very close. I can't believe we didn't finish. I'm glad that we did this audit because I would have emptied the squid ponds before we were done. We probably would have gotten close enough anyways, but <laughs> or it wouldn't matter because we get it from mob drops. Tear everything down. All right. So, seeds are done. Oh, they're not done yet. There are two standouts. Banana sap seeds, or they're really saplings, and ma mango seeds. The reason being is there's only a few ways to get them, and they all kind of suck. The way that we're getting them is opening golden coconuts. And we opened quite a few of them this year. We've got some good numbers now. The 162 banana saplings and 236 mango saplings. Just double check that I got that number right. Yep, I did. Okay, so seeds are all done. Materials, metals, and gems. So these are our big numbers, so we're gonna have to do a little counting for some of these. So bone fragments, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine stacks. So that's nine times nine 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 plus our change, which is 272, which gives us 9,263. 9, okay. Wow. It doesn't seem to make much of a dent, right? The reason being is, um, the reason being is the monstrosity known as um, ostrich incubators, which require 50 bone shards per ostrich incubator, so we need 50 stacks of shards, or fragments, just for that. Speaking of shards, though, cinder shards. Look at where we're at there. So we have 1,535. We have less than we had before. <laughs> I guess we use some of them. All right. Down to prismatic shards. Uh, we're actually gonna go have to go run around and collect some of these, huh? We have a lot though. So this is one thousand one thousand one hundred and forty six, and we've actually got some in our desert too, which I don't want to forget about. Even when I think of ostrich incubators, tee hee. <laughs> Concerned Nate put them in as a cruel joke to me specifically. Alright, so with these extra here, we're at 1,185 prismatic shards. Which is not completed. Because we need four whole stacks to complete it in total because of the um, magic rock candy. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at our geodes. There they are. We have 795 magma geodes. We'll have to finish these at some point. Uh, Omni geodes, we have a thousand exactly. Partially because we're using them. So you'll notice we need 140,000 Omni geodes. That's for artifact troves. But this number is going to go up by a lot because we opened a lot of artifact troves this year. Okay, stone geodes, or just geodes is uh, 648. I label them stone just to differentiate, keep the same scheme as everything else. Okay. Radioactive ores and bars. Um, so we have 1,003 radioactive ore. So they're both going to go down here. Well, sort of. Radioactive bar stays the same. Uh, but it's going to go way up when we come back and check here. They're not done because we still need some more, but we finished a lot of things associated with them. Okay. Minerals. Uh, minerals are all done. They have been for a very long time because you can put everything in here in the crystallarium. That's what this column is for. Crystallarium is make things pretty easy. 
All right, artifact troves. So we put in our raw number here. Take a look here. We just have 999. We just opened them. Okay. So the number is actually going down here, but we'll find out uh, through a really annoying equation once we do our artifacts how many um, total we're done with now. Okay. Auto grabbers and auto petters should be about the same. Go. So we've got 43 auto petters. Plus, we need to add up the ones that we're using currently. Although, realistically, we should just get rid of those at some point. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, seven for the auto grabbers and auto petters will be added on. So, auto petter is going to be 50. And auto grabber is going to be 54. I fixed it. You're good. <laughs> I saw it myself. Yeah. Now, you might be wondering why I don't just buy auto grabbers, and it's because it's going to cost me 23 million. But since I have to get the auto petters and, and anyways, I'm going to get enough auto grabbers just getting the auto petters. So rather than spend 24 million, which at some point it doesn't even really matter, I might as well just collect them as I'm collecting the auto petters because they're they come in at the same rate. Okay. Deconstructor. 23 million isn't that much. I'm aware, but I'm not one to waste money, especially when I'm using it for other things at the moment. Alright. Uh, Deconstructors, we never bought any. Enrichers. Those are going to be up here. We currently have 74 enrichers, which is quite a bit more. That's actually pretty good progress. Farm computers. Guess what? We actually made some. Guess what? We actually made some. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, where are they? Yes, we have 220, and there's the one right there. So 221. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Golden coconuts. I believe we just have one stack at the moment, because we opened them all up. Yep. So this is going to go down for now. Well, actually, it's going to go down permanently. <laughs> Because we already updated... Oh no, we haven't. Because our artifacts need to be updated. So this will go back up still. Uh, heavy tappers. Heavy tappers are completed. It's been a while, actually. We haven't completed one in a minute here. Let me go ahead and type that in. We've been going through a whole bunch of stuff. But yes, we finished heavy tappers. Okay. Hoppers. We have not finished hoppers, but we have made some good progress on them. We're currently at 383 hoppers. This is something you can buy with Q gems, but it's a lot better just to make them. Okay, next up are the Junimo chests. This is something you have to buy with Q gem. We have 416. Now, we actually have a bunch of Q gems that I forgot to spend, <laughs> uh, which would equate to almost 100 more, but we'll just have to put them on for the next one. It's not like we're finishing anyways. Alright, next up we have mini obelisks. Oh no, magic rock candy. How did I scroll down so far? Yeah, I have a bunch around the valley, but I don't know how many, so I'm not going to count them. <laughs> uh those I don't think I'll ever move, which is not necessarily true for like the auto petters and things, because I'll eventually get rid of a lot of those hoops. All right, um, we have 289 magic rock candy. This is one that's very slow because you can only get one per week, sadly. Uh, the mini obelisks are completed. So if we'll look right over here, right over here, right here. There we go. They used to be in that chest. I moved some stuff around. So we got 999 mini obelisks. Okay, and that is completed. All right. Monster Musk is also completed. We actually have a little bit extra, you'll notice, because I still use it. So Monster Musk. Oh, 
oil maker. I forgot I wasn't even done with oil makers. A long and treacherous road. We finished oil makers pretty much right after the last audit. So oil makers are done. Go ahead and mark that as such. Oxygen incubators have not changed. Pressure nozzles have definitely changed. We have 70 such pressure nozzles. Uh, now we have to put in our different rare crows. They're all down here. Rare crow one, we have 16 of. Oh, Brady's still involved. Rare crow number two. I don't concern ape if you're ever going to see this. <laughs> Please make it so these organize in the order of their numbers rather than randomly. Rare Crow 2 is the witch one, so we have 13 of these. Uh, Rare Crow 3, still have two. Rare Crow 4, we're up to 139 of them. Rare Crow 5, I believe it's this one. Yep, we are 13 of those. Okay, on to seaweed. Um, so it's we're gonna have a little less seaweed than we do before. Hey, Green on Twitch, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, we got 41 seaweed. Uh, but this number went up a lot because we put a lot of it into the Maki rolls. Okay. Slime incubator. We're not done with that, but we made a lot of progress with the slime incubators. We're at 284. We need 100 slime for each slime incubator. So it makes, it takes a lot of slime to finish those up. All right, Statue of Endless Fortune. I don't know how many I have, so we're going to have to play a little game here. Uh, I'm going to collect all of this, and then I am going to add up the number I get. Hi, doggo, you're in the way. You aware of that? Okay, so. It looks like we've got 146. 152. 140. 43. Aren't you glad we didn't have an Omni G uh, Gamma chat? 581 statues. Boom. Okay. Island totems. I actually do think I got some. So let me check. Islands one. What a horrible thing to see. Yeah, we have now have eight island warp totems. Yay. That saves us some dragon teeth. That's a nine. I'll go. That's a nine. Void ghost pendants. We have none of those. <laughs> Going to stay that way forever. All right, artifacts. So let's start with alphabetical first, which is the ancient seed. I mean, amphibian fossil, 122. Yeah, that's how alphabets work. I'll go. Anchor, 515. Oh, that's a big jump, isn't it? We opened up a lot of artifact tropes. Ancient doll, 461. Ancient Drum, 552. 522, that's what I wrote at least. Uh, Ancient Seed, 817. Ooh, wow, look at that green. That doesn't belong on here. This is the artifact section. Uh, Ancient Sword, you gotta jump on over. 526. Arrowhead, 513. 12. Bone Flute, 517. Chewing Stick, 505. Chicken Statue, 515. Amphora, 455. 515, 455. 
Okay, Starfish, 523. Dwarf Gadgets, 540. Okay, and onto the Dwarf Scrolls, 895. That's a big number. 90%, wow. 475. Six hundred and fifty nine, two hundred and seventy two, the helm, four hundred and seventy three, four eighty eight for the jewelry. Oh, fossilized leg time. 552. 141 for the ribs. Skull is 179. That's an improvement right there. Spine. Not the spine. That's the spine. 35. Thanks, Sapling. We actually got some. Thanks to you. The tail, we're at 126. Last shards, we gotta switch back. Please, Concerned Ape, <laughs> make it so these are tagged as artifacts. These are definitely all artifacts, but they don't have the tag, so they don't stack alphabetically with them. That would make my life a little bit easier. <laughs> Alright, glass shards, we have 552. We're actually almost done, Matt. Well, sort of. Golden Mask, we have 534. Golden Pumpkin, on the other side again, 460. Golden Relic, 479. Mummified Bat, we have to switch back and forth forever here. Uh, 13 squared. Mollified Frog, 44. Nautilus Fossil, 111. Ornamental Fan, 478. Palm Fossil, 89. What a jump. Thank you, Palm Fossil, for your contribution. Pearl, 554. Prehistoric Hand Axe, 520. Uh, Scapula, 165. Skull, 91. Cool, 516. Rare Disc, 527. Rusty Cog, 923. Rusty Spoon, 947. These are very close to being done, aren't they? Rusty Spur, 535. Skeletal Hand, 63. Oh yeah, that's more. That is more, it's just not very many more. Skeletal Tail, 535, again. Snake Skull, switching back, 131. We got a few of those just yesterday, didn't we? Snake Vertebrae, we got 39. That's a tough one. Strange Dolls, 107 pink, 88 green. Okay. Trilobite is 126. And 
treasure chest is 509. All right. Whew. Almost done. Musty Spurs. Go jingle, jangle, jingle. Jangle, jingle. All right. Now the question mark, question mark, question mark statues, or just question mark, question mark, I guess. Four of them, technically. We are done with all three of these. This was the surprise that blindsided us. So let me go ahead and throw those on here. Oh my god, I have to spell all of them. I'll save it for later. Okay, I know which ones I'm talking about here. Plush Bunny. Where are the Plush Bunnies? Oh, they're in this one, that's right. We have eight Plush Bunnies, which is two up, which makes me think I did miss one. Just don't know which one. All right. Joan Junimo. 14. Stone Owl has not gone up because I have left nowhere for it to spawn. And finally, the tea set. We now have eight. Eight tea sets. And that is all we needed to fill in. Now, let's check what's changed. We're up to 89. Where were we at? I forgot. I should have like taken a picture or something. <laughs> Hey, Yarn, welcome in. We were not at 69%, uh, Farlin. That was for the, um, that was for something different. Hey, Lucy. No, we're about to go through and talk about the things we're currently working on and what we still need to do in the future here. Okay. So, looking at our totals here, uh, one thing to note is the number of Q gems we need has dropped significantly. <laughs> Like, very significantly. Um, it says we need 68. Uh, but a lot of those are from the Galaxy Souls still. So, we're getting we're making really good progress on that. The amount of money we need is mostly still from the Statues of Endless Fortune. Uh, the number of artifacts went up, like, substantially. This was at, like, at something like 20% before. <laughs> That almost doubled. Count. Souls from that count. Uh, I guess I could just straight up do that, couldn't I? Um. Wait, what is this? Oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah, let me just, um, we just multiply this by zero. That will take care of that. Just to see. I'll get rid of it afterwards, but, oh, I mean, I could have just looked at this. I don't know why. <laughs> so we need 43,000 more. That's not even entirely accurate because some of that is from hoppers as well. Like quite a lot of it. So it's a little hard to tell exactly, but this is actually a pretty good number to look at. Okay, let's go ahead and go through what we have, what we're still working on. So fiddleheads is a thing we're still working on, and it's still going to be for a while. Looks like we're now fifty percent done with fiddleheads, which is nice at least. <laughs> uh, fiddleheads take quite a while to. Um, whoops. Oh, good, it didn't overwrite it. It'll have to take quite a while to get, unfortunately. There's been a few different ways added in the recent patches, uh, but not enough to make it easy. Fiddlehead burn indeed. Fiddlehead burn indeed. Okay. Uh, but veggies is still a long way away because we still need to get fiddlehead uh, pickles and fiddlehead juice. So we're basically two stacks away still. Okay, on to forge. We made a lot of progress with magma caps over this portion we're going to keep on pushing that hopefully by the next audit we'll be done with magma caps entirely uh, morels are just going to take forever it's there's no way around it um there isn't a really great way to get morels so it's just going to take a long time 
Uh, same with Nautilus shells and rainbow shells. We can focus these. They just take so long. I can work at them every single day until the next audit, and I probably won't be done. Yeah, I might be if I do that, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so it's very unlikely they'll be done by the next audit. So, as a whole, Forge is going to be lasting a while still. Fish. Fish has been trucking along for a long time now. Uh, but we are very close uh, to getting to a point where we're <laughs> making progress on that. That sounded really dumb when I said it like that, isn't it? Um, but we got a whole lot of the ones in the middle here, as you can see. Uh, and we're starting alphabetical now. So we're working on bullheads. Next will be catfish, then chub, then Dorodo, flounder. Well, we're actually working on flounder right now. And then we'll start going down here. So I would say probably by the next audit, we'll probably be working like in this area here so we'll have all this cleared out so we'll probably be working around this area uh we'll probably also be done with miss angler by the next audit i can't be certain of that but i just got a feeling i have the mushroom cave farland but they still does not give um morels that quickly unfortunately all right row is just completely correlated with fish so when we finish fish we'll finish row <laughs> Not much else to say about that. Same with artisan goods at this point. The only exception being these um, fiddlehead uh, juice and pickles, and then these um, really slow, unbranded wine, well, rather, unbranded juice, jelly, and pickles. Wine is not a problem because wine comes from the Statue of Endless Fortune. Yeah. Other than that, though, it's just the age grow. So that again, all the all three of these categories are basically tied to fish at this point, and fish is just going to be slow. Uh, I'm going to do Iridium quality morels, Elena, but I'm going to finish the regular quality ones first, just so I have them done. Okay, cooking. Cooking will be done by the next time we do an audit here. I can guarantee it. Uh, Maki roll will be done by the end of this year. Not even that long, probably. <laughs> probably much sooner than that. And seafoam pudding, we have the two fish that we're working on right now go into seafoam pudding. And the squid ink as well. <laughs> Which I thought I was done with, but apparently not. Uh, so this will probably be done, yeah, by the end of this year. Let alone um, my next audit. Okay. So dragon teeth. Uh, we're actually going to get those mm, primarily from stingray fish ponds. We've been picking them up as we've been seeing them. Because it's been... Uh, but, yeah, we won't get the finish these for a long time, sadly. Same with Galaxy Souls, just because it's a big timing thing. Over three years, we got like 150, which is a good amount, don't get me wrong. Like, that's quite a lot, but it's still going to take us many years to get that all finished. Okay, Slime. Slime literally jumped up so far. <laughs> I think this was at like 30% before, so it doubled. Um, we should be done with Slime by the next audit with the pace we've been going at. And then once we finish Slime, we can start using Slime to do these eggs here. Which is not something I would normally do slime for. But once I'm done with it, there's no other use for it. So I might as well just start pumping it into this. Um, we'll use the incubator, not the incubators, the um, egg presses. And then we should finish all of these but Tiger pretty soon after. That's only 70k more. Like it's not 30% of what we have. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's true, Mermaid. It should go pretty well. Yeah, we should have this... Maybe we'll have all of the eggs and everything done by... Yeah, the red ones will be tough, but... Like, the rest of them probably will be done by our next audit. We'll see, though. Yeah. And then uh, Squid Ink. Squid Ink should have already been done. I'm very surprised we didn't finish it. If I knew we were this close, I would have probably tried to finish it. I didn't know we were only 60 away. <laughs> all right. Uh, seeds, we're waiting on golden coconuts. We'll check on those in a little bit. But basically, we're just going to need golden coconuts. Golden coconuts come mostly from... Um, we're going to mostly get them from fish ponds later on. But we've gotten quite a few just by playing the game. By the time we get back to the blue gill fish ponds, we might not need them anymore. We'll see. Uh, bone fragments, they're just going to take time. I've just been collecting them as I've been going. And it's actually been going up pretty steadily. So... We might not have to farm them. We'll just kind of collect them as we're going. Uh, cinder shards. 
are going to mostly come from stingray fish ponds. That is probably the primary reason, actually, for the stingray fish ponds. Otherwise, they're just such a ridiculous number. Also, due to the ostrich incubators. Prismatic shards, um, they're just going to take time. We get one a day. I could farm them, but there's no real point. I'll just get one a day until I'm done. <laughs> I get others occasionally, too. Magma, geodes, and stone geodes. Uh, stone geodes we're going to get from the stonefish fish ponds when we do those. Magma geodes, I stopped my lava eel fish ponds a little too soon. I didn't think about the fact that magma geodes are a little annoying. But I could also get these just from bombing floors in the mines if I want to do that, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. Uh, the omni geodes, we are now about halfway done with omni geodes, which means we're about halfway done with artifact troves because... That is where most of these Omni Geodes are required from. Okay. Radioactive Ore and Radioactive Bars. We can now see that we are doing very well on these. I imagine that these will be completely done by the next audit, which will be a nice thing to check off my list. Okay. Minerals. Done? <laughs> They've been done then. All right, let's scroll back up to the top here. Artifact Troves, as we can see, we're basically halfway done with the Artifact Troves. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, unfortunately, that still need, means we need to open up double the Artifact Troves we've opened so far. But we have to open up the same amount of Artifact Troves we've opened up so far. Okay. Auto Grabber and Auto Petter, Skull Cavern Dives. We actually did our first one this year in game. Uh, and it worked out pretty well. Uh, we managed to go down, I think, 800 floors. I think we can beat that if we keep doing it. And we got um, we got at least a few auto petters. Not that many, but a few. Deconstructors. This is what we're going to spend our Q gems on after we finish uh, Junimo chests. So right now they're not moving and they won't for a while because Q gems take quite a while to get. Uh, enrichers. So enrichers we get from monster drops, but eventually, after we finish deconstructors, we'll start buying these gems. I think this will be the next thing we buy. Uh, this and pressure nozzles, which are about the same, technically speaking. Alright, farm computer. Uh, we made a bunch of them, but we're still waiting on dwarf gadgets. I've been bombing the mines to get them, but it just takes time. Uh, they also come out of artifact troves, but we actually need two stacks of dwarf gadgets, sadly. Okay. Uh, golden coconuts. We are only 25% done with golden coconuts. Uh, so that's going to take time, sadly. <laughs> yeah, so eventually we'll be getting them from fish ponds. Uh, the blue discus fish ponds pretty significantly, luckily. Uh, hopper. We have 383 hoppers. Like I said, this is the only thing we need for radioactive ore and uh, radioactive bars now. So as soon as these are done, so will the radioactive bars. Unimo chest. Um, yeah, Q gems. We're currently working on this. Hopefully by the next audit we'll be closer to done. I don't think we'll be done by the next audit. It just takes a long time to get those Q gems. Depends on how many Skull Cavern invasions we get. Magic Rock Candy. We definitely won't be done by the next audit. Yay! Um, in fact, I can pretty much calculate exactly how many we'll have by the next audit. Because I can only get one per week. <laughs> Um, ostrich incubator, we don't talk about that. Pressure nozzle, same as the enricher. The rare crows, so for five, two, and one, we can only get one per year. Uh, rare crow three, we might actually be done with by next audit. It depends if I want to or not. Um, I have to do an AFK session at the casino. Uh, and we did something like that before with the artifact troves, so we'll probably do something like that again. Uh, rare crow four it's not once per year but it just takes a while because you can get them from the traveling cart a few times per year usually like 10 or so you get from the traveling cart each year seaweed we tried to finish up seaweed uh we were not that close i mentioned by the next audit we might be done with seaweed we haven't had the muscle fish ponds for very long uh and they produce quite a bit of seaweed a surprising amount so we might actually be done with it by the next audit uh, I don't typically get the one for the Festival Mermaid. I just usually skip that festival. Just because it's a big time sink.
Oh, I will, Mermaid. I'm going to move the fish ponds into the better RNG setup uh, when I'm doing Stingrays and Blue Discus. Because until then, it's better to have more fish ponds. But at, when we do that, it's better to get the drops from them. So those are the two that I really just want the drops from. And Lionfish, but... Runs to build Muscle Fish Pond right now. Yep. <laughs> Alright, Slime Incubators. We're just waiting on Slime. I'm pretty sure I'll be done with that by the next audit. Statues of Endless Fortune. I will not be. Um, I imagine by the next audit, though, we'll probably have about uh, 150 more of them. <laughs> just about. We are gaining money faster, mostly because of the Statues of Endless Fortune. Okay. Island Totems. We're waiting on Dragon's Teeth. Depends on Dragon's Teeth. Void Ghost Pendants. I'm not sure if this was here last audit, but I don't think it was. There's kind of a weird way you can get these from Monster Drops. But you have to not be married. Unfortunately, I'm married, so I guess we'll never get them. Artifact time. Um, Amphibian Fossil. I don't think we're going to go through all of these. Let's just talk about them as a whole, kind of. We have the Artifact Trove ones, and then we have the non-Artifact Trove ones. All the Artifact Trove ones have the Yes over here. And they're all around the same amount. They're all within, like, 50 of each other. Uh, some of them are way above because I get them from other things as well. Uh, but then the non-artifact trove ones come from different things too. So like the door scrolls I get from bombing the mines. Same with the strange dolls. And same with the extra dwarf gadgets I need because I need two stacks of dwarf gadgets. Um, the Most of the rest of them come from um, the bone nodes in the dig site on Ginger Island. They have a pretty low chance. I do have a nice little sheet here that kind of shows me uh, how many of each I'm gonna need to get. It looks so pretty, doesn't it? Okay. So for instance, this tells me the amount of years I'm gonna need to finish it. <laughs> Much, wow. Uh, <laughs> some of these are in the 300s. And this is if I, um, I can change this around a little bit. I'm kind of estimating based on how many bone nodes I break every day. I did some um, quick maths. I did some testing to see how many I break a day, apparently. Uh, but I probably have to do some further testing just to be sure. But this in general is like about how long they're going to take. I like how it's green, even though it's 43 years. Okay. Right. Uh, anything else to mention in artifacts? Oh, the Mummified Bat and Frog. A Mummified Bat, I've just been slowly chipping away at. I get those from the Volcano Mines. Mummified Frog is a little more random than that. I get them from the jungle levels of the harder mines, but they're kind of rare. Um, I've been gaining them, so it's not like they're not existent, but it just takes quite a while. Okay. I think everything, I think that accounts for everything, actually. All right, let's go over to decorations then. Our final pitfalls. The plush bunnies are kind of like some of the rare crows where you can only get one per year. There is a way where you can use the crane game to get more, but I am not interested in that. <laughs> not even slightly. <laughs> crane game is very slow. Uh, Stone Junimo, you can get one of these per year, just like the, the rest of the things I was just talking about. The Stone Owl, I'm a little worried about this. So there is about a two year cooldown on this. I've only got six of them, and they cannot spawn on my farm right now, so I'm going to have to sleep a lot for this run, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to keep my farm clear. Golden Clock will help with that. And every time one of these spawns, I'm going to go out and get it. And hopefully we'll be done at some point. Uh, unlike the tea set. Yay, the tea set. The tea set would actually probably take about as much time. Um, so I might release a video fairly soon, or at some point, explaining the tea set in a great more amount of detail. Um, but I won't get into it too much. But the the long and short of it is, you can't you can get one per year at most, and you're very unlikely. I mean, you've got about a fifty fifty shot of getting it every year. Actually, a little bit more. Now I'll have to go into more detail on it later. But we have eight of them, <laughs> so we're making progress. <laughs> there is a public spreadsheet. So if you just do exclamation point 999, which Mermaid did, perfect. If you want to make a copy, and this goes for everyone listening on YouTube as well, 
Uh, it should be linked down below. If you just click on the make a cop file and then make a copy, this button here, it'll make your own copy and then you can alter it however you want. And if you want to use it for yourself, you just delete the raw column in all of the uh, different places. So like if you go through all of these like artisan goods cooking, you just delete the raw column. Whoops. <laughs> So the Omni Tracker? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I I was I'm not keeping track anymore, really. But I think this definitively, well, maybe not definitively, but shows pretty conclusively that Omnis win about a fourth of the time. <laughs> I've got some other fun stuff in here too that I can mention now that we're getting close to the end of the video here. Uh, our fish pond oh, items, filth sheet. There we go. Uh, so this tells me approximately how many years it's going to take to finish each fish. So, for instance, bullheads. Now that we've added the bullheads that we already have, it should be added, right? Yeah. Yeah, that should be it. So it says it's going to take approximately one and a half more years uh, to finish bullheads. Uh, and then you can kind of see for each of these. So Midnight Squid, we're very close to being done with, I guess. Oh yeah, Midnight Squid. I was thinking Midnight Carp. I was like, that's not right. <laughs> yeah, Midnight Squid are very close to being done with. So you can see it's only going to take a um, very small amount of time here. Like slightly less than a fifth of the year. This is in years here, how long they take. So some of these take quite a while. So for instance, um, the mussels, the ones we have in our ponds right now, are going to take 14 years. And that's because the row is extremely slow. Like, <laughs> there's only a 10% chance of row per pond. So even though we have 12 ponds, it takes quite a while for it to work out. Uh, so this number here would be the total amount, except we do about six pond, six um, sets of ponds at a time. So it's about one-sixth as much, but sort of, um, <laughs> it's a little complicated. But in general, uh, if you took like one-sixth of this number, that should give you about the amount of time it's going to take for me to finish fish. So it's, it's not a small amount of time. <laughs> yeah, we looked at the Bone Node Shuffle earlier. Uh, Statue of Endless Fortune money. So this just shows me approximately how much money I get from just the Statues of Endless Fortune I have per year. Links back to the statues, like the current amount I have. So basically next year, I'm going to get 33 million just from the Statues of Endless Fortune. So they kind of compound on themselves. So this is my testing one down here. So if I just switch this to like a full stack of them, you can see I'll get 57 million a year. But that's a while away. All oh, that math makes my heart hurt. I did not know how to make spreadsheets until I made this spreadsheet. Uh, this is the staircase thing. This tells me how many auto petters I need, how many staircases I need to do that. So we're at 250,000 we need, uh, which is seven chests full. Which I seem to recall it used to be over seven. So um, we made some progress on that. <laughs> uh, this tells me how many lucky lunches in ginger ale I'm going to need, which I've already made all those. That seems low. Seven chests full of staircases seems low. I mean, I think I did the math pretty well here. I used the equation that was on the wiki and I'm pretty sure it's the correct equation. because it's a seven. All right, well, seven isn't a big, very big number. Well, it's seven chests full. Seven chests with 36 slots with 999 in each slot. Yeah, <laughs> seven does seem low when you say it like that, I guess, yep. All right, this is my uh, golden coconut calculator. This tells me that at my current rate, I don't have any blue discus fish ponds. Coconuts. Coconuts, 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 you, coconuts, 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 coconuts. At my current rate, without having any blue discus fish ponds, it'll take me almost 38 years of time for my golden coconuts to be done. However, um, I will be eventually using blue discus fish ponds, which will increase that significantly. So if I come over here, let's say I'm doing just 12, that already drops it by 10 years. 
And let's say I'm using all my ponds, which I think I will be doing, although I'll probably not have enough room. So we'll say we can fit 40 with the configuration I want. Uh, it'll only take 20 years. And by that time, it'll be significantly reduced. Thirty-eight years is amateur numbers. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Uh, this is the time it's going to take me to finish the aforementioned jelly, unbranded jelly juice and pickles. Um, it's a lot of years. Seven hundred, and I have to check the cart for seven hundred years. That's exciting, right? <laughs> I have to wait that long, anyways, for tea sets and everything else. So, not a huge deal. Yeah, those are not the rookie numbers. Okay, everyone. Thank you for joining me today on this audit. The next audit is going to take place, I believe, on year 33. Or, no, is it year 32? No, it's going to take place during year 32, which is a slight departure from what we did previously. Oh my gosh, Cairo. <laughs> Love you, bud. Waffle, Voodoo, Otaro, Cuckoo Cat Lady, and Jadass Bank. Welcome. Welcome to the stack. Enjoy your emotes, your sub badges, and your ad free viewing. And Cairo, thank you so much for gifting five community subs today. On top of the other ones that you already gifted. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. See you all in the future. And bye bye for now.